Hi and welcome to Virtual Eats Guru where barbecue and grilling is made tasty. So today we're going to do a smoked ham and then uh, do our own glaze on it as well. And uh, so you know if you like this type of content please like, comment and subscribe. So uh, we're going to smoke this guy today and they're pre-cooked right so you can do this with any type of ham that's already pre-done or if you do it yourself. Um, but this one's already pre-done but we're going to put a little more smoke on it and then we're going to get it to about probably an internal temperature of about 130 and then we'll make our own glaze and uh, kind of show you some tips and tricks on that too to make the glaze real nice and then uh, take it off and we'll eat it okay. uh -uh. Uh -uh. All right, so now we got the ham on the smoker at 250, and you know they say that one's about 11 pound ham, so typically around 15 minutes per pound. Um, you know we're gonna get it to about 130, and then we'll put the glaze on and let it get to 135. We won't let it get over 140 internal temp. Um, but now we're gonna make the glaze while that's smoking, and um, so this is a really simple, really good glaze, a kind of a sweet, tangy type deal. Um, so you start with dark brown sugar. I like the dark brown sugar a little bit better because it's got a little more molasses in it. Um, but you can use light brown sugar depending on your taste and preference. And then we've got a little bit of honey, probably about, there's about a cup of brown sugar. That's probably just, you know, about a third cup of honey. And then we've got this apple cider vinegar that kind of gives you that tangy f flavor. And then we're actually going to use some pineapple juice to make our, to basically make the glaze. So we'll put in the brown sugar, the honey, and the apple cider vinegar, and just a little bit of the pineapple juice, but what we're kind of looking for is something that gets a little bit syrupy so it's easy to glaze. Um, you don't want to make it too thin where it just all runs off. We want it to be able to kind of texturize and put it on there. Um, so we'll mix it up and then I'll kind of show you the consistency that we're looking for and then once we get to, you know, close to our temperatures, we'll put the glaze on in the final steps. All right, just that simple. That's just the texture I want. I'll be able to just kind of rub that on and uh, you know it'll glaze up really nice once we get to that point so you know pretty simple but it makes it a lot better all right so we got our internal temperature up to 130 and I pulled it off so I'm gonna put the glaze on now and then we'll throw it back on in probably about it'll be 10 15 minutes but you don't want to get any hotter than 140 internal temp 135 is probably what you're targeting um, but this glaze will go on real nice and you know it cooked up really good got some good smoke on it Took a little taste, it's really good. So uh, we'll put the glaze on, throw it back on, and then take it off, and then we'll eat it. All right, so it took about 10 minutes. The internal temperature went up to about 135, so I decided to pull it. Um, and I'm pretty good in glaze, but I want to do a little bit more. And so, uh, you know, a torch is kind of an interesting tool for this where if you want to focus on your internal temps and keep those right, if you need to glaze a little bit more, you can use the, the torches and it's kind of a nice trick to get a little more caramelization, a little more flavor burnt into the skin. So, and it's kind of fun to use a torch, right? So, um, anyway, so I'll, I'll kind of do that and then uh, we'll let it sit a little bit and then we'll do a taste test and then we'll have dinner. Alright, so you can see, you get some nice little char on there, it kind of burns that in there, it tastes perfect. So, I'll do the other side and then we'll cut off a couple pieces and try it. Okay, so after we've, uh, you know, caramelized it and used the blowtorch a little bit, we're going to take a little taste test and see, see how we did. So we got a, a smoked ham with some honey glaze on it. Give her a try. What do you think? Mm. That's it's really tasty. <laughs> That's really good. So if you like this type of content, what do you do? Subscribe! <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Oh,